Hi everyone, so this is Brittany Paul Castro and today on the vlog, we're having tea time. Like, amazing, right? <laughs> so the reason why we're having tea time is because of the person next to me. So this is Jackie Maldonado and she is, not only is she a certified yoga teacher, just recently actually, mm -hmm. uh, but she is also the owner and founder of the Prana House and she is a certified herbalist. So the reason why we're doing tea time is because the tea that we're about to have, she made. <laughs> so, so welcome Jackie. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so happy for you to be here. Um, so before we like get into what we're going to talk about, which is actually a really good topic, so stay tuned. Um, tell me what's in this tea that we're going to be having. It's the detox tea. So this is my detox tea and it has alfalfa, uh, chickweed, cleavers, dandelion leaf, root, um, wow. and red raspberry <laughs> leaf. Okay, so like what does this do? So the detox allows for, um, you know, to detoxify the body and also help cleanse and cling to your spring uh, greens. So oh, we want to make, yeah, so we want to make cool. sure. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to try to trigger all our major organs, like our kidney, our liver, and our spleen, and kind of detoxify that. And there's things that we're putting inside of our bodies that cause blocks. And this just helps move, remove those blocks and also provide us with the nutrients, the vitamins, and the minerals that our body needs. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we totally can't drink this yet because it's like piping hot, but we can cheers to yes, start. Oh, it smells so good. Cheers. Ah, maybe a little sip. Let's see. Oh, it's really hot. <laughs> You're brave. Wow, but it's good. <laughs> okay. Hopefully by the end of this, we'll be able to take a sip. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm going to cheers. You're like... <laughs> um, okay. So... Uh, in the midst of tea time, uh, I'm going to talk to you uh, about something really, this is important to me, like this is like a really important topic. Um, we're talking about today what you are buying, right, especially these organic products that you buy, right, that you think like, oh, it's organic, it says, my, my boyfriend Nick does this all the time. Sorry, Nick, I'm calling you out. <laughs> he, he's like, oh, it was organic. And I look at the back and I'm like, uh, did you see what's in here, dude? Like, cause what's in here is not good. Um, so we're gonna talk about the, you said levels of organic, right? Mm -hmm. So basically what we're talking about is like, is the stuff that you're buying that you think is good and organic, is it really as good for you as you, you think it is, yeah. right? Yep. Okay, so let's go. Cause yeah. I am super interested about this. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so there's different labels. So if you can you can buy your products, the USDA organic that you mm -hmm. see on your products, the majority okay. of the ingredients only have to be a maximum of 70% okay. organic. Everything else, you really don't know. Yeah. Um, it could be all natural or there can be actually chemicals in those products. Uh -huh. um, and then there's levels that just say organic and may not be certified by the USDA. Mm -hmm. um, and those can even only have 30% oh, of wow. organic ingredients. Yeah. All natural around the same level um, only thing the only thing that will actually be and that you can feel confident on is the ones that say 100% organic okay so by law they actually have to have 100% of their ingredients have to be organic in those products okay. and where would that be would that be like on the front of the package on the back of the package yes it would be on the, the front, front of the package usually and it'll just say 100% organic and there's really not a lot of companies unfortunately right yeah. now that are certified as 100% organic so you have to kind of do your research yeah so as a consumer that was my biggest thing when I transitioned to a healthier lifestyle yeah was I want to also make sure that I'm one I'm supporting companies that really yeah. provide that mm -hmm. um, and I'm not being duped as a consumer yeah you want to you want to have faith in the companies mm -hmm. that you're buying from and you want to feel confident that they are looking out for your well-being yeah totally um, so uh, what I did was I started doing some research and I stumbled upon the Environmental Workers Group, which okay. is the EWG, mm -hmm. and they actually do test um, independently mm. products um, that we use every day. Yeah. So from things to bath products to makeup um, mm. and all those things. And there's levels of toxicity that these ingredients have in, them yeah. and in these products. So they can range anywhere between a level of zero mm -hmm. to 10. 
Yeah. Um, and they, they test every single ingredient inside the product mm -hmm. and each ingredient is then given a wow. scale of toxicity. And wow. so what I did was I tried to research and all the, all the products that I do sell or the ones that I try to provide to my clients mm -hmm. are only at a zero to two, which is the good, uh, toxic scale okay. as according to the EWG. So what if it's higher than that? Like, what are you at risk? So body. as with anything else that can be toxic, so, you know, some of them can just be, you know, it, it creates some type of detox, um, type, some type of, it, they're unnatural products mm -hmm. pretty much. Yeah. So, you know, like petroleum can mm -hmm. be at a level of one or sodium lauryl sulfate is mm -hmm. at your level of 10. <laughs> So That's these are scary. scary. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the things yes. that can can cause, or so research has yeah. provided. Yeah. Um, you know, cancer causing things. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, illnesses, things mm -hmm. like that. That we obviously don't want to put in our body. Our, our, our skin yeah. is our, our is the most is our biggest organ in mm -hmm. our body, and we kind of tend to forget that what we're putting on also yeah. goes in and it gets absorbed. Yeah. And so we have to, as, as knowledge comes, you, you acquire that and you start to think, okay, consciously, like, what am I actually putting on myself? Is it going to be good for me or is it not going to be good for me? Yeah. So it's just, you know, with education. Yeah, totally. And so, so this isn't just for food then. This is just, this is for everything. everything. Right? This is for everything. everything. Like detergent and hands wash and body lotion mm -hmm. and everything everything yeah yep. so what about like you because know, i've always heard and this is more for like food mm -hmm. like you know like reading the ingredients if you can't pronounce it like don't buy it yeah. like what do you think about that well also certain certain companies so there's latin terms of <laughs> the ingredients or the <laughs> scientific name yeah um so just because it might not be something that you can't pronounce doesn't necessarily mean it's bad okay you can you give me an example um so with herbs specifically yeah. right um as an herbalist you really shouldn't be buying products where the herbalist doesn't provide you with the latin name because there are mm. many different types of herbs and those herbs can have different um targets mm. so just take lavender for instance yes yeah. right there is lavandula angustifolia mm -hmm. or there's just lavandulin yeah so both of them in products right? yeah so the lavandula angustifolia is the medicinal Lavender. Ah, lavender. Ah, can bet you didn't know that. <laughs> right? Wow. Okay. And lavender is just it is not as medicinally used. It's used more for your smelling stuff. Um, in the in the sachets that you buy or things like that. Okay. So what does the medicinal lavender do? So medicinal lavender helps target things like um, anxiety, insomnia, um, it helps with uh, de-stress of the body. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different things that it can do for you. Mm -hmm. um, which more so than the other one. More so than the other one. So the other one actually isn't as... And lavender, you cannot ingest. Oh. Lavendula angustifolia, you, you can. can ingest. So there's a difference too. Wow. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's really, it's a science. It yeah. really is a science. So it, it's really just knowing about those products mm -hmm. um, and then researching what that name is. Yeah. So even with our vitamins, our vitamins yeah. can have different, different names, mm -hmm. but it's a vitamin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So tell me about the prawn house because this is new, right? This mm -hmm. is like you're launching this out yes, into the world. I am. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about this briefly. So that's what I did. So I, I I was really starting to, you know, you go to your major market organic grocery stores mm -hmm. and you feel confident as a consumer going in that, yeah. you know, what you're buying from there is going to be good for both inside your body and outside your body. Mm -hmm. um, but it can be confusing. Sometimes mm -hmm. you're standing in the aisle and you're re you, you catch yourself reading every single label yeah. that you come across. It can be exhausting. It, it can. Because there's no trust. Like you're just, it's like you feel like you can't trust. Exactly. And yeah. you're spending, and then one hour shopping trip mm -hmm. can end up into three hours mm -hmm. of a shopping trip. And then you're like, oh my God, <laughs> like, what am I buying? <laughs> So I don't know about you, but that yeah. drove me crazy. Yeah. So I was like, hmm, why don't I do the research? And I would love to share the things that I've I've learned along the way mm -hmm. and be able to provide that to consumers. And nice. I want to bring back the the thought that you can truly trust mm. the company that you are buying stuff from yeah, and, the products. and can feel really sure that mm -hmm. what you're buying is going to be 100% natural, 100% organic, the way it's supposed to be. Mm. Yes. What? Mm. Oh, I love it. <laughs> awesome. 
So, um, so I'm just thinking of this. I'm sure you'll be okay with this. Uh, so usually we have we ask for comments, right? Uh, today, how about questions? Sure. Yeah. Would you be cool for answering a couple questions? Absolutely. Okay. So if you have a question for Jackie, right, who is an herbalist, um, anything about what we just talked about, right, about the lavender, about the level of organics, um, I'd love to hear your questions below. I will get those questions to her and, you know, we'll answer them. And then, like, you can, like, because sometimes this brings up, like, more questions because this is, like, it's, like, oh, my gosh, like, what, what am I putting on my body? What am I putting in my body, right? It gets, and it can get a little scary. So uh, if you have any questions, I would love to hear them. Uh, and we'll, we'll get back to you with some answers. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so let's finish our... So I, I've been drinking the tea. It's actually, it got ready pretty quick. Let's do another cheers. Oh. Delicious. Cleansing. So good. Amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, Jackie's website is going to be right below here on, on this vlog page. So check it out. Check her out, all her products. Um, it's it's going to be well worth your time and energy. And I will see you next week. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Tea time's over. <laughs>